heard it said before that we work on our dreams so we can thrive. If not, we'll work on someone else's and then we'll die. So let me introduce myself to you. I am Wanda D. Collins. Now the D is for Denise, a name given to me by my grandmother. And Wanda was given to me by my great grandmother. So there you have it, Wanda Denise Hollis. Now some call me Wanda D and my close friends and family call me WD. But either way, I'm just passing through. You see, I came by to inspire you to live beyond your dreams, to go past the clouds and travel on Mars if that's what you so desire to do. Let me assure you that I, I truly believe in you. Your visions and hopes are seeds planted in you, put there for a reason perfectly designed for you. I believe that the universe is simply waiting on you. Let me ask you a question. What are your desires? What is that thing? You know that thing that burns inside of you, that thing that nags you. What is that dream that used to ride with you? I am here to tell you. I am here to encourage you. I am here to let you know that it's not too late to take that dream off the shelf and give birth and let it kiss the earth and then spread it as though it was a dessert. I am enough. I am enough and yes, you are enough. You, you, and you too are enough. Now live knowing and believing that there is nothing, absolutely nothing you can't do. Why? Because together we are more than enough. Bye. Hey guys, it's me, Wanda D, the motivational queen. Woo, 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 woo. And I am here inside the Instinct Radio studio. You have joined the I Am Enough talk show, and I am your host. Yes, coming to you live. And this is our, um, our, uh, what is this? Our third Sunday. Is that right, Ned? Third Sunday? I don't know. Second Sunday? I'm confused. Second Sunday. That's right. See, guys, you know I'm on this new time schedule, right? First and third Sunday. Ned just had it wrong, too. It's first and third Sunday. This is our third Sunday. Right, 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 Ned. Right, right, right. So, you know, we are just so excited to be here um, on MLK. This is where it all goes down. We, we, don't, we don't play the radio over here. So what I want you to do is I want you to invite your guests. Take time on Facebook and share this video. Invite guests. I have two very important, I can take my glasses off for a minute, two very important, amazing guests that's going to be joining me today. But before I bring them on, let me just play some catch up about what's going on inside of the I Am Enough team. Now, some of you may or may not be aware that we're working on a book collaboration. I am seeking anyone that wants to be a part of this. I'm looking for about 21 amazing individuals, or I should say 20. We, um, and that number is kind of counting down. So if you're interested, please, 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 you can call me directly or you can send me a, a message on Facebook. If you're on Facebook or, you know, if you, you know how to get in touch with me. I'm very, very easy to get in touch with. So what's going on with this book project? I just want to bring you up to speed. Now, the name, the title of the book will be um, We Wake Up Winning. Some of you may be aware that we do Mondays through Fridays, we do a Wake Up Winning call. That call is just to get your day started, to really help you stay in alignment with going out in life and seeking whatever it is that you're, um, that you're after. This call is to just inspire you, you know, to let you know that, hey, you might not, um, everything may not be lined up just right because that's how life is. Nothing is ever going to be lined up just right. And you just have to push through. So there's some of us out there with some very, very big goals. And I just want to say that you definitely want to wake up winning. See, wake up winning is a spirit that you have to take on when you go out here and try to, you know, take on the rest of the world because the world can be vicious. Vicious. I know. And I know you know too. And if you haven't, if you don't have any testimonials, then that means you just life just hasn't tested you enough. So when life starts testing you, you have to share that with other people to let them know that they can come out of it too. And that's what this book project is about. So right now here um, inside of Instinct Radio, the I Am Enough show now is broadcasting twice a month. 
first Sunday and also the the uh, third Sunday. Same time, seven to nine, um, um, you know, Eastern Standard Time. <clears throat> We're also available to come out and launch your business. We do um, listening parties here in the studio. So if you are an artist and you want to come inside the studio and get your, you know, we, we've done um, listening parties. People, you know, had questions and answers afterwards. So it's very, it's just a very good atmosphere to launch whatever you want to. And of course, anybody out here in the community that needs a platform to help expand their brand or market, you know, market their services or business, this is the spot. This is the I Am Enough show where your dreams matter. I am Wanda D, the motivational queen. And let me see, what else do I need to tell you? What else, what else, was? what else? I think that's it. So what you want to do is you want to like and share the video. We're going to take just a short pause for the cause. I'm going to bring up my my first guest. She is actually going to be Skyping in. So um, you, you probably heard her because I did. I, I heard her a little bit in the background. That's just how Skype do. And y'all know how transparent I'm, I am, so I'm just going to tell everything. So just let everybody know that we're on. We're not going anywhere. You're going to be enjoying and listening to maybe a poem from my CD, I Am Enough. That's what you're going to be listening to. So if you want to get that, of course, you can get it. Just go to my website. It's IamEnough365.com. You can order that. It's only $5. We also have books. And we got these new fancy T-shirts for sale. So um, this T-shirt is $30 that I have on. Uh, we also have the regular T-shirts, $25. And you can get that from the website as well. So people, what did I say? Like and share the video. And let me give you the number to call in if you want to call in for questions for our guests. That number is 478-569-6474. Okay, peace. I'll be right back. of albums and eight tracks, like played out bell bottoms and maxi skirts, allowed to stay in your closet, hoping to get another chance, a chance to prove that style and sophistication, it never dies, it just magnifies on runaways as men sit, dazed and amazed to watch. So remember, as you try throwing me away, New eyes will rest upon my old rags, delighted that I flaunted their way. They will assume I just stepped off of the pages of Essence, Ebony, and Cosmos, latest edition. Style so enchanting and refined, heads will turn just to ask me, where have you been all my life? My reply? Just hanging around in the wrong closet, yearning to make an interest. So do you like my style? Do you like my style? She comes home shocked. Hey, how did you get into my playhouse? I thought I took away your key and changed the locks. Now look at you, rummaging all through my thoughts. Are you serious? Redecorating my space? Removing my success picture? And it's my time clock from the wall? Where did you put my journal? I know I left it over there. And what about the novel I'm working on? It was right beside the fridge next to that. I am a <coughs> did you get into my playhouse? The last I saw you, you were at the house of doubt. You had them all convinced that watching TV made a whole lot of sense. Even had a schedule and a time was set. And a bet with your three cousins, procrastinator, fear, and disbeliever, that we all would conceive. I ran out of there quick. 
So how did you get into my playhouse? How did you make it past Isaiah 54, 17? No weapon is formed against thee shall prosper, and every tongue that rises against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servant of the Lord, and their righteousness, and of me, saith the Lord. And Lord, I do accept. Amen. And what happened? Was my guard down? Did I sleep too sound? Or did you float into my window when I was listening to my Kindle and hearing my inspirational sound? I thought my vision board and my daily declaration and my positive self-talk had you blocked. Again, I asked, how did you make it into my playhouse? I counted on my like-minded friends, accountability coaches, and my righteous spiritual leaders to keep you out. And lastly, I depended on mentors and role models and, of course, my dream making buddies to fill my plate. But somehow, you still managed to bounce into my playhouse. You took a seat as if you were invited. Oh, no, I think not. I think it's time for you to go. And make sure you take all your friends, poverty, sickness, bitterness, and confusion. And don't forget lazy conformity and the older self-doubter. And did I mention procrastinator, people pleaser, and non-believer? Get them up out of here right now. It's time for them to go. And this time, I'm using security. Matthew 19, 26. Jesus looked at them and said, with man, this is impossible. But with God, all things are possible. So don't even think about returning to my playhouse. Turning to my playhouse. The biggest station in the world playing all of today's hits. You're listening to Instinct Radio. Guys, it's me. Look at there. I tell you, I do the same thing I tell everybody else not to do. Are you kidding me, phone? That phone just messed up. See there? It's always a gremlin in the room. I tell you. But that's okay, because we just roll with the flow. I, you know, I never claim to be the most tech-savvy individual. No, I don't do that. But I do do what I do. So, I'm so excited to be introducing this next guest. And I don't know if y'all can see her on the screen. You can. So, you can wave at the people, girl. Wave at the people. That's Miss Jacqueline, y'all. And I'm going to tell you something. This lady is phenomenal. I'm just going to read her bio right quick. She is a licensed clinical social worker in the state of Michigan. That's my hometown. Woo, 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 woo. She's been doing that since 2003 and also a practicing social worker since 1994. For change. She's a change agent. Also, she's um, she's also a woman's empowerment and self-esteem coach, and she's created Realizing Realizing Your Potential, LLC. This was created to empower and inspire women of color everywhere. Her focus is empowering women of color to know better and be better for themselves, their families, and their communities. Her work is about getting women of color to recognize and harness their power to empower themselves and others to manifest abundance. See how I'm hitting those key words, abundance, in their lives. Welcome, Miss Jacqueline. Thank you, thank, thank you, you, thank you. Thank you for joining us, and we're so excited that you're here. And I just want to say thank you again. When I, the first time that I saw you, you was actually on Aja's um, podcast. I think you was, she was doing a series, some, I don't remember the series, but that was the first time that I had got a chance to listen to you and just kind of like, you know, learn a little bit about you. And I found that it was ironic because at that time I was in Michigan and I had sent you a text and you never did get it, <laughs> but I, I sent you a post, you know, that's why, you know, guys, Facebook is tricky. Sometimes you be thinking you connecting with people and they never get it. If you like me, I get so many messages a day and sometimes things just get lost. So I always say to people, you know, charge it 
to my to my head and not my heart. But again, I want to say welcome. Thank you. Thank you. So tell me, you're in Michigan now, right? You stay in Michigan? Yes. You were you were you born and raised in Detroit? I was born and raised here in Detroit, yep. Yeah. What school did you go to? What high school you graduate from? Well, actually, I ended up going to Birmingham Public Schools. So okay. I, I actually graduated from Wiley E. Groves on 13 Mile and Evergreen in Birmingham. Okay, okay. Well, that's okay. It's still Detroit. That's, yeah. that's fine. And um, what made you get into the social work um, and the caring? To me, social workers start off as real, very caring people. What made you get into that field? Well, to be honest with you, um, I have a parent who is an alcoholic. Okay. And I really wanted to help people. And initially when I started, I wanted to work in the substance abuse arena. Gotcha. When I first started social work. Okay. Yeah. You know? And I knew I wanted to help people and I wanted to help people become better. You know, I wanted at at the time I wanted to help individuals that were dealing with substance abuse and you know battling an addiction. That right. was my, that's what initially drew me to the field. So, so then what happened when you switched over? I mean, when you decided that you were going to go down, cause you're very, what I like about your brand and, and people will say that, you know, most coaches will tell someone like a business coach will always say you need to um, narrow your business model, you know, and make it be more like you help one person, like one specific person. And you did that. I mean, you said women of color, you know, so what made you just kind of like focus in on that particular group? Okay. Throughout the years of working in my profession, you know, so professionally as well as personally, I have found that I've come across, you know, I've worked with a lot of women of color. Mm -hmm. And I found that that is a very common, very, very common. I mean, regardless to, you know, socioeconomic status, whether you're married, single, a mother, no children. I found that that's a very, very common um, occurrence, the issue of low self-esteem. Okay. And I know I've experienced that. You know, I, I've had a very, a very long struggle of um, rebuilding my self-esteem. So it's because of that, that that's very, very dear to my heart, wanting to work with women of color around issues of not feeling like they're good enough. Right. Or not worthy of abundance. And do you find that um, that to be more common with 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 um, women of color as opposed to other women, or or is it just that your focus was just on wanting to help someone that looked like you? Well, you know what, a little bit of both, because that was another thing I wanted to mention. Because you know, doing social work for so many years, I've worked with all different you know types of individuals, whether they be white, black. Asian, Indian, African, Caribbean, and I still found that that is a very, very common um, issue amongst women, just not feeling good enough. But I wanted to primarily work with individuals that look like me because it's so personal to me because I know I've struggled right. well, well into my early 30s okay. with self-esteem. So that, you know, so that's why I specifically wanted to narrow in on women of color. Got you. Got you. And what's been, do you, do you, I know you do personal coaching, right? One-on-one. -on -one. Do you find that, um, that people are easy to reveal, like coming to you? Like, will, will they, are they ready when they come to you or are they just kind of like, ah, maybe I am, maybe I'm not. Are they like absolutely ready to make those transformations? Well, you know what? I would say sometimes no. And I say that because what I found is that I don't even think a lot of people even realize that they struggle with self-esteem. Like I, I think, I think what, what, what people are more aware of, if you will, is the fact that they just feel stuck. You know what I mean? Like they're like a, like a little hamster on a wheel, just spinning. Okay. You know, and it's more so those things that, that people are more aware of. And once you begin working with them, 
it becomes clearer and they have more of an awareness that it, that it starts within. It starts, it starts from their self-esteem right. and then we work from there. So, so oh. some of our reasons why we're not moving ahead is goes back to those self-esteem issues. And so what you're saying is this is why we're stuck and we don't really know it. It's like not having that confidence or not healing in certain areas. You know, I know when I when I was um, focusing on writing my book, it was a lot of just identifying with moving, you know, identifying with procrastination. So I I just really like the fact that you target that. Now, what makes up women of color? Is that including our brown sisters our, 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 you know, like who's all in that category? That could be. Like 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 you said, Spanish speaking, you know the uh, Lat Latino women. It could be women, um, you know, of, of the Caribbean, um, African women. Although primarily the ones that end up reaching out to me are usually within the United States or um, some part of the um, Caribbean. Okay. Okay. Well, let me just acknowledge we got a few guests on here over here on Facebook. So I just want to give them a shout out. Um, hello, Gregory River Flow. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, Kiki, for joining us. Thank you, Zakia and Lanita. Uh, Kel May, thank you all. Thank you. Um, Hope is watching as well. Um, did I miss anybody? I don't know if I did. If I did. If I did, I, I apologize, but thank you everybody for watching. And if you're on Facebook, please like and share the video. I have one of our guests here that I'm talking to, Ms. Jacqueline Kabai Harrison. And um, she's just, you know, giving us some information about uh, uh, her business and also her mission of what she does on a day in and day out basis. So I know that you have a, a link where people can go on there and kind of get a free download. You want to share that now while we're talking about that? Tell them where to go to and just get that information. Yes, I have a, a Facebook business page and it is called Realizing Your Potential. And if you go to that business page, it will have my link on there for a free PDF, which includes seven tips to assist you in immediately increasing your self-esteem. And it'll also give you some additional details as well on that, um, on the uh, Facebook business page. Okay. And you know, there's a lot of people out here. And one thing I like about, there's a couple of things that we're going to discuss. One thing is about getting started in business, because there's a lot of people that want to get started in business. They're a little bit apprehensive. Can you tell, can you share with our um, audience, what were some of your biggest challenges in getting started with your business? I know you have been with the state for many years and you was kind of working in that capacity, but that moment that you decided to take, realizing your potential to a legal professional, um, you know, uh, model. What was that like for you? What were some of the struggles that you went through? Oh, wow. Fear of failure and self-doubt. Those are the two biggest things, that fear of failure, that fear of, you know, this is real now, Mm -hmm. you know. And what if I fail at it? What, you know, what if it's like an epic flop? So that, those are like the two big ones for me, the fear of failure and the um, self-doubt. Wow. What, what were some of the things that you did to overcome that? Because uh, clearly you got started. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, okay. So the fear of failure piece, what I did was I had to completely look at like reframe fear of failure, right? Into the fear of just not starting at all, mm-hmm. you know, that if I don't start or don't do it, that's that's my fear is not to start at all. Okay. Right. And the other the other major piece is that taking is is not even looking at it as if it's as if I'm failing at anything, because when when you take action, I'm just going to produce a result, right? It's not an idea. I had to not look at it as feeling like I may fail, but more so that when I take an action or when I do something, it's going to produce a reaction or a result. Mm-hmm. And how I choose to look at that result 
mm-hmm. is my my decision, and I'm going to look at that as something to grow from, something to learn from, because you're not going to be able to make any sort of moves at all if if, if you don't put something into action. And once right. you put it into action, at that point, I can learn from it and grow from it. Right. So whenever I think of fear, you know, fearing failure, I, I kind of reframe it in that in that way. And that that has worked for me. OK. And when did you start your business? I started my business in April of 2016. OK. OK. So you yeah. you will be coming up on a, another anniversary soon. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Awesome. And um, do you have any funny stories to tell about your business? Like what some something that may have happened, like a funny story inside of there? Um, well, the first thing that comes to mind is that I am so not tech savvy. Y'all just don't know. I am so fearful right, of, of technology. And I just remember when I first start, was introduced to like lead pages and a funneling <laughs> system, I was like, what the heck is that? You know, so it's just, just, just me blundering through. I mean, I'm just going to keep it real. I mean, it has been a learning experience and I'm still learning. But just a just a just a mere fact of I feel like I'm in school again. Yeah. You know, yes. learning about Facebook and even how to use Facebook because I had a Facebook account since like 2009. Mm-hmm. But I didn't even really start using it until I started my business. Right. And so you, just be blundering through. Right. You know what? That is so funny because um, I still don't have that funneling thing straightened out. And I know I need to and I'm learning more about, you know, just how to how to do it. But I get so tripped up and and uh, and now with all the different platforms, you know, the Zoom and bringing Zoom into Facebook. I'm like, oh, Lord, why I just can't do Facebook, you know? So um, but but when you when you merge those those platforms together, then they really just make your whole business model take off into a different direction. So, you know, I, I'm old school. I, so I feel you. I'm, I like to go knock on people's doors and say, hey, what's up? What up, though? You know, what's going on? <laughs> As opposed to just going out here trying to figure out all of that. So what were some of the other things that um, why you decided, like, what was that that rubber in the road for you that made you say, this is it. I'm getting started with my business right now. Like what was that deciding factor that just made you say yes to that dream? Well, for me, I, I always knew that I wasn't a good employee. <laughs> that I, I mean, really, I, I'm not a good employee. So I've always wanted to have my own business. Okay. But I would say the the main thing for me is that finally, I just said to myself, I have something, I have a story to tell that I think could help people. And and, and I and I think that's why what, you know, I am enough and what, what you talk about really resonated with me because I feel like I have a story to tell. And even if I just help one or two people. Right. You know, it's like, and I know what I've been through and I know how, how my life has changed. Right. And that it wasn't, it wasn't a matter of something on the outside. It's coming from the inside. And I know how good that feels, Mm -hmm. you know, and being, and being able to, and being able to just help somebody. And, 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 and for me, it just was a matter of, I have to do it now. I have to do it now. It's no more waiting. It's no more tomorrow. It's no more next year. Now is the moment. Mm-hmm. You know, now is the time that I'm I'm actually going to put myself out there. Because that, that that's really what it's all about, that putting myself out there and mm-hmm. what will people think and what if it doesn't take off. You know, all of the what ifs. Right. You know, I finally just got, got tired of all the what ifs. I'm just going to do it, you know, and I'm not going to look back. Right. And how has it been? How's that journey been for you so far now going into your second year? A roller coaster. I'm not gonna lie. Right. You know, well, I'm just because because that's because see, that's real. And this is why we have these conversations, because like like I said, the, the wake up winning is a spirit. It doesn't mean that you're not going through stuff, you know, and I usually, you know, say SHRT. It don't mean that. It just means that you're going to go through those curves, that you're not going to get off that roller coaster, you know, that you're just going to keep going on the ride. And then eventually you 
have to have that belief system built, and I call it a belief muscle to that you build up to say, you know what, no matter what, I'm going to keep, you know, forging ahead. I remember in 2014, we had got laid off from um from from the law firm and at that moment i said okay that's it i i can't go i i'm not going to do that i'm not getting ready to put myself through those 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 systems anymore and so then we you know i got in the lab and we just we created uh wtts and it started out with just the sister circles and just kind of like paying attention to what was going on in the community and here we are now you know so out of that you know, it's because it's always something that's going to move you in a direction of growth. You know, that's just basically how it is. And um, what do you so I, I know what do you tell somebody that that um, and I guess we already told them, you know, you just got to jump in there and do it anyway. But when you letting self-doubt hold you back, when you're letting um, the fear of failure hold you back, then you won't be able to have that impact. And that's what you said. You wanted to make an impact. So the fact that you can just go in and change one person's life, that really, really helps, you know, helps you keep growing. It helps fortifying you. Yeah. So what's, what's some of the other things that you're looking to accomplish with your, um, with your company? I want, I actually want to be able to, like, for me, it, it really means a lot to, or, or part of realizing your potential is also getting people to recognize like what their passions are, right? I think a lot awakens in a person when they do what inspires them most, whether it be painting, dancing, singing, sewing, cooking, whatever it is, mm -hmm. right? And that's icing on the cake as far as I'm concerned. If you can make money right. doing what you love doing, right? But I think that that, is, that, that awakens you, mm -hmm. you know? So I guess, you know, long, long term, um, I see myself trying to help as many people as possible and, and hopefully eventually having some other people um, join my team. Okay. You know, that, that feel is strongly and, and is passionate about it as well, to be able to help as many people as possible, you know, um, to be able to, to be able to, 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 to create a life of their, of their, what they desire, you know, right. and, and to know that, that, that they that they deserve it basically, right. that they deserve it. And it is within their power. It's not just something that you see on TV or something you see other people doing. Cause I know, and I know I've been there and a lot, a lot of people feel like they look at other people and they say, wow, you know, they, you know, they're married to the man of their dreams. Although nothing is perfect. You know what I mean? Nothing, nothing is perfect. It may, it's not perfect. But the bottom line is to know that you have whatever, with this individual that, that you're looking at, that you're admiring, you have within you. This right. The same, same thing. Power right. To create a life of your liking. You know, you determine how you feel when you get up in the morning. You know what I'm saying? You, when you look at yourself in the mirror, you determine how you feel about that person that looks back at you. It's not a matter of what this person said or what that person said. Because people are going to say stuff all day long. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times, unfortunately, it ain't going to be nice. But, but the thing of it is, you know who you are. And you have to feel good about yourself and what you bring to this world. Mm-hmm. And that's what's most important. And and I, I really enjoy like getting people going with that. You know what I mean? And I and that that's why, you know, and I, I think you might have heard me talk before about my dancing. My dancing is very dear to me. And that is what opened me up. And that and that's the beginning of my growth. Mm -hmm. And it's been no it's been a it's been a rough road. I'm not gonna say it hasn't been, but it's well worth it. It's a lot awesome. of work and it's well worth it. So what kind of dancing do you do, Miss Jacqueline? West African dance. West African from dance. Senegal, from the Wolof people. Okay. Okay. You know what? And that's so appropriate. Okay. You say it's what? I said it's so appropriate because we have an artist in the studio and she's going to do me some um some tribal face paint. You know, when we take a break and getting into talking about um her her gift 
And um, if you were here in the studio, we could dress you up and you could just do a dance number. You know, so I don't know. I don't know. You should have came ready on Skype. You, I should have known that before. So then uh, you could have just hit that camera w with ready to, you know, ready to shake your shimmy. <laughs> I love it because, you know, we got to do things that um, make us and you hit it on the head when you say, you know, find that passion. I think that's very key with life. It's kind of like finding the passion. But along the way, when we growing up and we get kind of knocked down so many times and we just push those um, dreams to the side, we push that passion to the side, and then it just becomes about making money and making a living, you know, and so this is what a lot of people have to start getting back to, to find that joy, and um, and I love to dance too, so that's just something, something about music and dancing, art, that's so universal, it doesn't have any labels on it, you know, it just comes with, there's no prejudice there, there's just, it's just free, you know, it's free flowing. And if we could just have that fluid lifestyle in all of our, you know, dealings, then we would be so much happier people. Yeah. And you know, I, also I truly think believe that. that we as women, there's a whole nother dynamic that um, we as women, I think a lot of times we push our, our desires and, and, and what we feel passionate about. We just kind of tuck it away because we're married. You know, we have children. Right. And I think that even a lot of times, even in my own personal life, because I, you know, I have a seven year old. That's my only one. Um, but I know that we as women, sometimes we become so consumed in, you know, running back and forth to school and cooking and cleaning and laundry, you know, that we don't even take time for ourselves. And that's also a big component of realizing your potential. Mm -hmm. You have to realize that you can't keep pouring from an empty cup. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You you have to do something to enrich yourself and, and don't and don't feel bad about it. You gotta take time to yourself. You know, and I, I think it's just amazing like when you start talking to women and you see different things that they do that make them smile, that make them light up, and then you say, Well, when was the last time you did that? Right. right. Like, girl, I don't even know. Right. You know what I mean? And and, and so I think that that's important to yeah. be able to do that and to work that into your regular routine. I think you got some amens in the house. Did the church say amen? Amen. <laughs> and we got a we got a, a question for you. I'm gonna read your question. Um, Hope okay. Hope wants to know how do you keep yourself uplifted when faced with a failure, obstacle, hardship in life or in business? So how okay. do you keep yourself uplifted? Okay. Again, I'm 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 gonna say you know some I'm not. It's not always easy. But I know for me, because like just even in these couple of years of business, I have ups and downs. You know, sometimes I'm like, oh, you know, I'm so excited and I'm, I'm feeling real hopeful. And then there's other times I'm like, dang, what I get myself into? <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, I'm just, you know, just seriously. But what I do is I think about how far I've come and like in, in, in the whole technological piece. I'll just throw that out there because that's the first thing that comes comes to my mind, right. but I think to myself, like, I've learned a lot. Mm -hmm. I'm like, sometimes I feel like I'm in business school, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? But it, but it's like, that helps keep me motivated. Like, I think to myself, Jackie, you, you, you've you come a long way. And I, and, I, and I think that, like, we as women, a lot of times, we don't, we don't pat, we don't even stop and pat ourselves on the back enough. Right. You know, I agree sometimes with I you. start there. Like, what, it, like, this week alone, what mm -hmm. did you do this week alone? What? How many how many fires did you put out or how Ooh. many things did you pull off this week? Just that alone. You right. know what I mean? And that helps to inspire me. Right. And, and like in a social work world, we call that strengths based perspective. You know, you because like like families and and, 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 and people have been, um, you know, pulling things together. And, and like, like how, how have you kept yourself motivated in the past? Maybe when your dad died or. You know, when you lost your job, what, what did you do? And I think that sometimes when you bring people's attention to that, it helps. I know it helps me. Right. And, I, and, and it's helped a lot of people that I've worked with. So off the top of my head, that, that's one of the, the, the things that, that I do to get myself out of a slump. Mm -hmm. That's great. That's great advice. I'd like to um, th welcome uh, Tamara. Thank you. And Tamara says truth. Um, 
So she was saying that as you were talking, delivering that response back to Miss Hope. And also, Yolanda has joined us also. Hey, Yolanda, welcome, queens and kings. You're here with Miss Jacqueline. She is talking about um, realizing your potential. Potential, she is um, the proud owner and founder of that company. And she helps women of color rebuild their self-esteem and their self-worth. Um, beautiful, beautiful lady. And you guys, please, you can find her on Facebook. You can follow her. She's on Facebook giving tips and just kind of helping. You know, like I said, we all have to come together to pour into one another. We all have to come together to help strengthen one another. We all have to come together and give ourselves that pat on the back you know um so that was a great that was a great answer to um to that question do we have any more questions any uh studio audience y'all have any questions for miss uh jacqueline i can see start thinking about one she gonna give me a question okay finger up church you need to go to the potty no, no, I wanted to say one more thing. <laughs> oh, you good? Yeah, because I don't want to. No, no, dear, you're okay. fine. You're fine. And you, you know what else too? <clears throat> Sorry, is that I, I think another thing that I talk a lot about is who you surround yourself around. Influences. And, and it, it, it made me think about it because you started talking about supporting each other, right? Right. And the thing of it is, a lot of times we need to do some house cleaning. We need to be very selective with who's in our circle because if I'm feeling down one day. You know, you know, I say, hey, Wanda, you know, you like Jackie, you know, you give me a pat on the back. You know what I mean? And we need to lift each other up and we need to be very selective about who's in our inner circle. Right. And we need to surround ourselves with other people who are positive and that want to see us do well and that's that will right. offer support. That's right. You know, so that so I think that that's also key. Right. And, and I think so. And it's very, it's necessary because you got to clean that circle out sometimes, you know, sometimes you have to lead a circle, go start a new circle, you know, but it's very key. I call them, we, um, I think Kiki one day called them spiritual vampires, people that's just walking around and kind of like just sucking the life out of you and leave you sort sort of ringed out and you wondering like, what the heck is going on? So we do have to do that self-check and that goes back to self-love. Um, Star Waters is here in the building. She's a phenomenal lady as well. And we talk about that a lot is sometimes we just forget how to love ourselves, you know, um, and you saying something very key because as women of color, we know how to juggle. Um, I told a joke uh, last week, a couple weeks ago, you know, I know how to take that one chicken breast and cut it, you know, butterfly it and chop it up and have enough, you know, food to feed four people with one piece of meat. So these are things that we're accustomed to doing, but we don't really know how to say no. And we don't know how to push that reset button. You know, we'll keep doing something that's clearly not working. And then we find ourselves really needing a Prozac and depressed and can't move, paralyzed almost. So how how do you, when, when you know you at that point, and I call it habits, do you recommend that people kind of like have a, a, a ritual that they do for themselves to keep themselves kind of like protected against those things that may come up? Well, what, one of the things is um, just the way you plan everything else, you know, you plan to, I don't know, go to church on Sundays, let's just say, plan your, your what you do to recalibrate or what you do to, um, what's the word, revitalize yourself, Okay. right? Whether it's just sitting in the bath or whether it's reading a book or audible book, working out, you know, whatever it is, I always say that that's part of my, my modules is that put that in there to make sure that you get that time in to recalibrate. Mm -hmm. You know, like I know, like at work, you know, I work a regular 40 hour job. Even if I just have to go to the bathroom a minute, just to stop, you know, just to kind of regain myself, you know, if they get to talking too crazy, you know, but yeah, but just, just to put that in there, like, like I know I roller skate, you know, so I know that every other week or at least once a month, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go to the rink, you know, so put that in there. Plan that time to relax or to recalibrate. And two, just watch who you hang around. If somebody is really supportive, then hang out with that person a little more often. If you, you know, and don't wait till you get to the to your breaking point where you feel like you're about to lose it. Mm -hmm. and, you know, kind of do it on a know. regular basis. Exactly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. That's good. That's good stuff, y'all. Y'all better be taking notes because you know she charges for these sessions.
Y'all getting it free not right now, so you, you need to ask your questions. Oh, we got a question. She have a comment. She have a comment. And also reward yourself for jobs well done or accomplish, accomplishments well done. That's one thing we don't do. We don't reward ourselves. You hear that? Did everybody hear that? Star says she's a she's in an audience here. She says that we don't reward ourselves enough, and that's very key as well. Like when you do, when you hit that milestone, and I always say like making those small accomplishments count because it's not about the finish line; it's about the journey. So if you do a couple of things and you like, you know what, job well done, and this is why one of, one of the things that I try to do every day is evaluate my day. So I can give myself those compliments. So I can give myself the pat on the back saying like, hey, I got, I had this list and, and I may then take care of all 10 things on the list, but I got five things off the list. You know, so I'm five uh, points ahead of where I was before when I got started. So um, I think that's great. Thank you, Star. Thank you, Star, Star for saying that. I remember in the past, I used to never or very, because I'm a perfectionist. I'm a reformed perfectionist, y'all. <laughs> she... And I'm telling you, in the past, I, I never really gave myself any credit for anything that I did. Okay. You know, and it's like now, I be rewarding myself. <laughs> All the time. A few times a day. So you really loving yourself. And that's great. So then you could teach other people how to love themselves. You got to be coming from the space that you're operating in, especially when you're doing such a labor of love, you know, and that is um, pouring into the universe, trying to help us all change our mindset and change this. And I do know this for and and see if you would agree or disagree for a lot of us, especially women of color, we are so sometimes we can be so broken and it's very hard to really find yourself. I mean, so how does somebody find themselves that they're really, really super depleted? I mean, what, what, what is some of the advice that you can give for somebody to um, kind of try to start to rebuild? To try to start to rebuild. Um, I think I kind of have to go back to what we talked about in the beginning, like reconnecting with something that makes you feel whole, something that, um, that, that makes you feel center any any little any little thing so you know, probably need to go back to like childhood i've heard it said that we probably have to revisit childhood and that's where some of the first hurts came from but it's also from where some of the first passions and from some of the first loves came from i know with myself I had always said I was going to be in this broadcasting arena, you know, um, and I kind of, I get off the path and then I come right back to it, you know, because communications is what I originally went to school for to study. And it was only, and it was because I like hearing the information and I like finding valuable stories and valuable information to take out to the world to show to somebody, hey, this person did it, you can too, or hey, guess what's going on over here, you know, if you need something, you know, like um, they got it over there, you know, like finding out where things are and how to put people together, you know, was very key. And I saw myself getting away from that. And then every time I would come back to it. So, you know, it's kind of like, we are all, I believe that we're all born here to do a certain thing. And then life gets in the way. But if we're lucky enough, we kind of can find ourselves and get it back together, you know. So, so as a um, as a as a coach, how do people do you do? How's your coaching setup? Are you on um, Skype on webinars? How do you do individual um, group coaching? Tell us about how your process works for your coaching. Okay, so at this present time. I, I do have a physical office space, obviously, you know, here in Michigan, in uh, Detroit, Michigan. And I, I do have a couple of clients that I see that way, but primarily it's online. And the, the services, I, I do have individual coaching packages where I work with the person one on one. And I also have a group program. It's like a small group program, like five people. And I also. Um, like a couple of times a month, do live master classes or webinars um, just to basically be able to um, give give people um, in, information, you know, based on 
what people have told me that they want to hear a little bit more about, like, you know, common things like fear of failure, how to eliminate self-doubt, um, the importance of self-care. And I do those types of webinars or master classes regularly. Okay. And I, and I typically put them, either I have people sign up and I give them a link or either I'll do it live from my business page. Okay, great. So guys, um, make sure you check out the business page. And also, do you have a, a main website that people can go to? Yes, I do. Okay, and give us that um, information. That's um, realizing, www.realizingyourpotential. And then the number is 123.com. Okay. Okay. Y'all, you guys got that? Realizing your potential, 123.com. Correct? Yeah. Great. And what about, um, are you on any other social media outlets outside of um, Facebook? Yes. I'm also on Instagram, and that's Realizing Your Potential as well. Okay. So make sure you guys check her out and follow her on Instagram. And any last words that you want to leave with the viewers? Any last thoughts or say your best quote or here it is. You got to leave it all in the studio. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would say that um, take the time to put yourself first. And that, that, that doesn't mean that you're being selfish, but take the time to put yourself first. And when you kind of get in that mindset, That'll open you up into kind of segueing into um, doing things that make you feel good. You know, and when you do things that make you feel good, you begin to feel better about yourself. And there's no stopping then at that point. No stopping. I no wish we could play that song. That. Ain't no stopping us now. We're on the move. We got it. We got the move. Ain't no stopping us now. We are through. We got it. We got the groove. Okay, y'all know I do improv to singing. Yes, any moment I might break out. So I just want to read a few other comments. Kiki said, preach. She is preaching right now. Preach on, sister. Preach. Tamara says, yes with a question and a few uh, explanation points at the end of there. Zakia said, yes. Uh, Tamara said message, and um, uh, Gregory said facts, and also said uh, rejuvenation is necessary. So, girl, I say you you on the right team. You got you got them geeked up. You got them ready to take on the world. And guys, anybody would need some individual coaching. Remember, she specializes in women for women of color. And do you also, I'm sure you do, do you also go out and do speaking engagements and stuff of that, that nature? You know what? I have not. Not yet. Um, yeah. Not yet. <laughs> we we've been ready to break through some whole bunch of stuff. Whole bunch of stuff. We about to break it up. We about to break it open. Cause I can't wait. I'm I'm coming back to Detroit and I really want to have a face to face with you. So we definitely gotta make that happen. I know your schedule is um really, really uh full, but we're gonna have to make that happen. Okay? That's yes, what that's yes. what we're gonna I'm do. Yes, and and hopefully she'll also be coming on this book collaboration to drop some jewels and nuggets in there. So I'm excited about that as well. High five. There you go. See there. See, I tell you, every I tell you, this Skype thing is amazing. Nat, you missed that. We did a high five. You seen that? Okay, all right. So see. This is this is the power of the internet. You know, we, we got to learn the technology, but it's also the ebbs and flow of the internet. I just want to thank you so much, Jackie, for coming on the show. Um, maybe you'll hang out with us and just keep watching the show. We're going to be doing some amazing things. I'm going to take a short pause for the cause. When I come back on the show, I'm going to bring up our next guest, and, um, and we're going to just keep on rolling. So, guys... Continue to like and share the video. And if you have any questions, please call in uh, to, what's our number again, Nat? 478-569-6474. Yes. <laughs> we'll be right back, guys.
Why did he do that? Hangups and breakups. How do you spell relief? How do you say another one bites the dust? Love just doesn't seem to last for me. But throughout all the fallouts comes victory. The victory of understanding myself just a little bit more. I'm learning my levels of tolerance flexibility and endurance my levels of saying enough is enough and too much is way too much I can make it without you then you can make it without me now what picking myself up dusting myself off young and dumb or older and hopeful you see it's really all the same We are trying to outlive the generational curse, passed down and picked up unknowingly. So, to those still listening, let's journey into our own fantasy of, well, you decide. Remembering the curse has been broken, we no longer have to live in the shadows of what our parents did. Let's live, live, and live. Believing that there is so much to give. And love, love, love. 
throughout all that's said and done, whether young and dumb or older and hopeful, stick around because surely the best is yet to come. Young and dumb or older and hopeful, live and learn because surely the best is yet to come. That makes you just get silent. I'm here with Sakari, Henry, the beautiful artist that has all of this beautiful artwork, and she's also a tribal face painter. And that's what I have on my tribal face. 
Thank you. You're welcome. I'm so excited. I'm so geeked up now. I got to go out after this. I got to go somewhere and let somebody see me. Guys, if you're returning to the show, this is Yes, you're on the I Am Enough talk show. I have my beautiful guest in the studio. We had earlier uh, Miss Jacqueline. She is she is um, hopefully still watching. And now I have this sweet, sweet, sweet lady right here. She's She's only 17. I'm blown away because when you listen to her, she doesn't sound 17. And that says a lot. So <laughs> you'll have that, that youthfulness spirit. But I'm just going to read you guys a little bit information about her. And I don't want to mess up my, my um, face with these glasses. Oh, glasses are a problem. So this beautiful lady is the owner of uh, Kari's J graphics she's 17 year old entrepreneur she does visual art she does um she's a graphic artist she also is a photographer she does photography she does videography she paints um and she does like i say tribal makeup and she's from atlanta georgia so welcome again darling thank you so much queen thank you for having me here yes and you know what you also won miss regina had um a a um what was what's the name of it again the awesome girl award awesome girl award so tell me how do you become an awesome girl how how were you picked as the the awesome girl because you won right yes well it was like a surprise to me because somebody nominated me because of like how i like portray my art and work hard mm -hmm. and like just express myself throughout my art so i guess that's how i want and then my personality because i'm so like nice and sweet to everybody so yeah yeah yay <laughs> she's nice and sweet towards everybody and you do amazing work we're going to get into your work in a little bit but first a little bit about you do you have um siblings any brothers sisters i do i have one brother and i have an older sister okay Oh, now what's the ages? Now my sister, she's uh twenty one, okay. and my little brother, he's nine. He's nine. Now, is it who's the artist in your family outside of you? Uh, well, my sister, she used to uh draw, but now she's doing poetry, and my mom, she also do poetry. Okay. So, so, so that that artistic gift just runs through your whole family. And you said yes. some. You say your mother, you make her face up. Yes, I and do. She, and she goes out in the world. And she always gets compliments. Yes, she always gets compliments whenever I do her face. And how long have you been making her face up? Pretty much uh, a few months. Okay. Was this the crave after the Black Panther? Is yeah. that what motivated her to wear her no, face? No, she always like had her face done before Black Panther. Okay. <laughs> Cause, cause she's an artist. So you know, when you're an artist, you, you, you a lot. I, I say this: most artists are in front of what's going on. So they're like, I've already done that. You know, like, oh, y'all doing that now? I've been doing that for like five years. So that's how what being an artist is. And um, when did you get into the drawing? I mean, because you have some amazing work and we're going to we're going to show your work and we're going to talk about it. We're going to get your checkbooks ready. Send money. <laughs> cash app. You got cash app? Yes. She yes. got cash app. She don't need no excuses. Just send the money. Buy some of this art. This is a young entrepreneur. I know y'all buying some. Y'all need to buy some art. Okay, now what? Um, what were we talking about? We were talking about how long <laughs> I did my art. <laughs> yeah. So how did you get into your art? How did well, you? Well, I always been interested in art, like at a very young age. But I started like taking it seriously when I like got into high school. Okay. So I started uh doing digital f first, and then like. Around 2017, I started painting. Okay. So that's how I started doing And your this. work is incredible. Let me, I don't know if y'all can see this, but look at that. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. Oh my goodness. And this, like, I'm looking at the back of this, and look at this. This is just, it's just beautiful. It's beautiful. It's, it's so beautiful. I really like that. So how much do you do? How much is something like this? How much is a piece of art like this? Well, it costs around like 20 to $30 for that size. For this size, 20 to how much? 30. 
20 to 30 dollars for this size right here and y'all can get it framed y'all can hang it up this is the original so um don't wait don't wait because you know because i see this i want to put you a show together if you would allow me i want to put your art show together i'm just so excited and i love this piece right here does she have a name I don't really give my characters a name. She doesn't have a name, y'all. We could name her. <laughs> yeah, we can name her. We could name her. She doesn't give them names. I'm gonna give everything up in here a name. So, um, so I, so you got started in your in with the painting. You said in 2017, right? Yes. And um, and now you have all of this, and you also have the posters. They can go in in order. I seen this is the one that I seen on your website. Yes. This one right here. This is the one that I seen on her website. And this is how much for the prints? The prints is, they cost $10. Okay. So $10 for the prints. Again, cash app today. Okay. So got that out <laughs> the way. And um, what's, what, so tell me something about, what's your big dreams? I know, I know you're, you're 17. You, you, you got started. You won this awesome girl award. Um, part of the winning the award was coming on the show, so I'm so excited and thank you so much for being patient with me. I was supposed to be at the awards, but at the time I told you I was in Michigan, um, taking care of things. So here we are, and you know, I said, I said, and I told you, I said, soon as I get back, we're gonna do this, and I'm so <laughs> glad that you were patient with me, and um, I'm so glad that you came on. So what are some of the big dreams that you have for all of this beautiful collection here? What are some of your big goals? Well, my big goals is like to expand my business so everybody will know about my art and about me and what I do for my art and also like what, what other stuff I do because I like do other things. What are some of the other things that you do? Like you said, photography, videography, and um painting and all that stuff mm -hmm. but uh I was um my uh, mentor he taught me how to like do like photography because I was I'm interning for him mm -hmm. so I learned how to do all of that because of him okay so that's what kind of got you geeked up about doing the um, photography part of it yes okay so do you have a particular style of photography do you like to take you know nature portraits I mean what type of photography or do you even have a particular style um I don't have a particular style yet but mainly when I uh, take pictures it'd be like poetry events for uh, his show or my mom's show mm -hmm. to be honest you know I don't want to mess my face up, right <laughs> it's all about my face right now as you could tell okay <laughs> sorry I'm listening. <laughs> but uh, it made me be like a poetry fans for his show and my mom's show. Okay. So that would pretty much be it. But when I uh, get my own camera, I'm going to like try to expand and try to do nature and all that. Okay. Okay, great. So how long have you been um, his uh, mentee? Uh, since the summer of 2016. Okay, great. So you're just growing and growing through everything <laughs> yes yeah did you ever think like at 15 you will be here did you see this for yourself then uh no not really i'm sorry y'all don't hear me oh okay is this better Nets fussing at me okay i'm sorry <laughs> okay i'm better gotta sit up straight <laughs> eat my vegetables <laughs> okay ma all right <laughs> Eat the green ones. <laughs> Let me just read some of the comments. You're getting some comments. That everybody says, wow, nice. Thank you, Miss Jacqueline. And um, who else? Who else? Uh, uh, she said, absolutely amazing. So, um, guys, we're, we are here with Miss Henry, and she is spreading her, her passion with us. You see? You see you? You see you? <laughs> yes. Yay! Yay! So, um... You say somebody nominated you to for the um for Miss Regina Sunshine's award. Um and what was that experience like when you went on um because I'm I wasn't there physically. So tell me, how was that? Did you know were you excited? Did you say I'm I'm gonna take everything, I'm winning, or did you just go? I was excited at first. Then I felt a little bit nervous, but really but pretty much I was excited because I didn't expect to get like get an award. 
So, yeah, I was like pretty much excited. Yeah, yay. <laughs> so now are you going to be mentoring other people as well, like people younger than you? Are you going to take somebody up under your wing and show them the ropes? Yeah, I will. You will? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think that would be beautiful. You have the perfect spirit for it, you know, for um just – letting them you know you just you just so you just so um i don't know you your your spirit is so calm to where it's like are you just always that like kind of laid back <laughs> like easy going or i just haven't pushed the right button yet <laughs> <laughs> no i'm pretty much laid back like even at school i'm like that quiet person or that shy person so i'm just pretty much laid back okay but some people they be trying to give me mad to see my reaction yeah they try to test you <laughs> i know yeah. but we ain't going for it what inspires your art i noticed that it's all like island and well not all of it but it's it's a lot of island and it's a lot of um culture stuff so what inspires that well what inspired me is that i'm like part Caribbean because okay. my dad is from the Virgin Islands but I never really like experienced that but I tried to express it throughout my art and then my mom she not really like um like from like different parts but um she just tried to express it so I learned it from her so I like try to express like culture okay. and different like ethnicities throughout my art mm-hmm so it's very it's it's very touching. Your now is your mom from Georgia? She is. Okay. And your dad is from the Caribbean? Yes. And um and you you were you born here? Yes. Okay, okay. So so you're here and are you graduating this year? No, I'm graduating next year. Next year, okay. Okay. Next year. And what are you gonna do after graduation? Um I'm gonna apply for a college and the college that I wanna go to is SCAD. That's like the main college I want to go to. And what is SCAD for those that don't know what SCAD uh, is? SCAD is a Savannah, Savannah uh, Design of the Arts College. Okay. Okay. So, so you can like just, um, it's mainly about art at that so college. So all different types of art, like yes. textile art, um, um, vocal art. Yes. You know, it's just all kind of art. Yes, Music, all kind of art. All of that stuff. And that's in Savannah? It, there also uh, another scat here in Atlanta. I see. I think I seen it. Isn't it off of like seventy five? I mm -hmm. think I saw a building like right off of seventy five, Savannah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, so I never didn't know what that was. I mean, <laughs> I've seen it. You know how you just be driving and you see stuff and you don't really pay it no attention until now. Now I'll be like, oh, that's where Nelly's going. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. So I'm excited. So you said you you haven't done a show yet, but you have because you have you have more things here than on the website. I just saw the um saw the prints. So did I did I overlook the other work or or no or you just didn't um, have it up there? Most of my other works is like on my main website, okay. but like on my story, just have the prints. Got you. What's the main website? Let us have that information. Uh, the main website. Is I believe Kari K zero zero dot winks dot com slash Kari J graphics. Okay, you guys buy some artwork so Kari can customize this website. We're gonna remove this Wix <laughs> banner from this website. <laughs> buy some art, Cash App. So I think somebody had a question, or or they said, "What an adorable talent and pleasant young lady." <laughs> Bless her sweetheart. I love her work. Oh, uh, that's what Kiki Stone said. Thank you, Kiki. Cash app, cash app. <laughs> Kiki turned me on the cash app, so I know she know about cash app. So, um, when we when when you explore, you say you're going to explore more of the taking picture side, and you also said videography. So you um you do that as well now. Yes, he's um uh, my mentor also taught me that. Also, so, okay, so I learned how to do that. 
Wonderful. You know, there is so much um, there in, in Atlanta. There's so much going on. So you can always get on to um, to do stuff and to do events for people. You know, so there's just a lot of work out here. I do know that, you know, with people having events and they want it recorded. It's nothing like having your event recorded. So then you can sit back and watch it and, you know, like just reminisce through the funny moments. I'm, you know, I'm so much older than you, but I remember back in the day where we took a lot of pictures and we had the big photo albums and you just flip through the photo albums and you just be like, oh, I remember, I remember what song was out. I remember when I was doing this dance. So, you know, that's so beautiful. So, you know what you're going to be? The, the keeper of memories. That's what you're going to do. And that's very powerful because now you have an opportunity to really help other people capture their memories. And, you know, like hold on to them because, you know, we live in this world now where it's, it's, it's phones and pictures and sometimes the picture never comes off of the phone. So I'm so glad that you brought us things like this, like because this is like bringing this to life so I can hold this and I can keep this and take it with me and put it up and be like, oh, remember she was on the show, you know. <laughs> So this is this is a great experience. So tell me what so what what is some other things that you like about school? I know you like art. So what are some of your other passions? Um the other passion is like digital technology. Okay. Cuz with that I learned about like Photoshop and Illustrator and all the editing skills on there. I want to hire you. <laughs> You hear that, Renee? We got another team member. <laughs> yeah, because, you know, that's that's so, and it's so good when you love to do it because then it's not tedious. It's not a task. I kind of dabble, but I don't really be want to do it. I'd be like, oh, I got to do it. You know, it's like a necessity. And I get into it, and then it's like, okay, I'm trying to make sure I line this up and do this. And I come out, I do a decent job. But it's great when you can have somebody that you can call on and be like, listen, send me an invoice and take care of it, you know, especially when you kind of figure out what people like to do. So that's another good way to expand your business. Expand your business. Expand your business model. <laughs> You're awesome. I'm telling you, that's why she is an awesome girl. Somebody call <laughs> Regina and tell Regina that we have one of her awesome girls in the studio. Tell Regina. Tell Miss Regina we got one of her awesome girls in the studio. So what is some of the, um, what were some, were there any pitfalls for you when you started your business? Did you have any dilemmas because maybe somebody out here wants to get going in the same type of business? What are some of the things that people need to watch for? Well, since I'm a young entrepreneur, I have, like, school that just stopping me because I'm in, like, a lot of accelerated classes. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I had to, like, do my work first and then do my um, art. So it's, like, basically I have to time manage my business and my schoolwork at the same time. Y'all got that? <laughs> time management. Yes. And that's and that's so key there, cracking up. Why are we telling jokes? I don't know. But anyway, time management is so key. And that's for everything. So that's good. So what are some of the things that you do to stay on track? The things that I do is to stay on track is like to pretty much to remind myself and think about, oh, I can earn this, I can earn that. So let me just hurry up and finish this so I can like hurry up and earn what I deserve. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty much it. Do you have um, financial goals in mind that you've written down? Like how much money would you say you wanted to like your business to be making? Um, no, I haven't really started on that, the financial goal yet. Okay. Well, that's part of business. Yes, so you got to, and you have to intentionally, you got to set a number because that's the only way you're going to obtain it. And like you have all this beautiful art here and you say, mm -hmm. well, I want to sell, I want to at least sell like 10 of these, you know, like, you know, that's, you know, cash money. You say, I'm going to sell this, you know, I want to sell this. So when you look at your, when you add it all up, you'd be like, wow, I got $1,500 worth of merchandise here. You know, I could turn this over, you know, sell this and make some, some new art. So that's, that's another thing. And, and this is, this is me doing my little mentoring part of it. 
with as business owners, and it doesn't matter whether you're just starting out or you're seasoned, the thing that we always have to do is we have to set intention on how much money, cash money that we want to bring into our companies. You know, and don't be afraid to do that because money is our friend. Money works for us. You know, money allows you to get out. You can't, they don't give these things away for you to paint on, do they? Mm -hmm. It costs money. So you have to go out, you have to buy your canvas material, you have to buy your paints, and all this stuff takes money. So you're well within your rights to say, I need to make X amount of dollars in x amount of time okay okay that's my deepest advice to you you are so beautiful you are so talented and i don't ever want to see you not doing that portion of your business and that is getting that cash ask for the cash girl <laughs> ask for the cash cash apps available now <laughs> download your cash app and get a Art piece of artwork from Miss Henry. She is lovely, and they're all handmade, very distinctive. And you know what I love about this piece? Her eyes. It's like you see her soul. You see that star? Like they're so expressive. And you just are you self taught? Yes, I am self taught. Wow. See, that's a natural gift. That's hi naming. Name is watching. Um, um, Hope says, Hey grandma at Doris Dixon. I guess that's somebody that's on here. So hey grandma at Doris Dixon. And also Hope says she is an inspiration. Keep it going and never give up. <laughs> Thank you, Hopey. We miss you. So I have a, a little I, this is my co-host. This is my red box co-host right here. And it's a card in there. So grab one of those cards. It's a question in there that the the um the audience wants to know. So you can read the question. <laughs> Share the funniest jokes you can remember. Share the funniest joke you can remember. <laughs> is it a PG 13 joke? No. <laughs> well, that's even... okay. Put the um Put the uh, parental uh, thing up there. She about to share a real joke, y'all. <laughs> I don't know any jokes. That's why I'm laughing. That's why you laugh? You don't know any jokes? No. That I see <sighs> that funny is. Look, look, and that put the parental thing. Now, you have nothing to say that's going to cover this parental banner. We got to say something that will fit in the line of this parental banner. <laughs> Come on, you don't have no joke, no chicken cross the road joke, not, none of them, huh? No. Oh, my God. Okay, well, you got to get another card. She's going back in the co-host box because she's... <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Share about something that you took that took you a lot of courage to accomplish. Okay, that's a good question. Well... This is very simple. It took a lot of courage to come up here and like talk. Thank you. Cause I'm like a really shy person. I use and I like usually stutter a lot in front of people and you know, like stuff like that. So I tend to not say <laughs> that much. But it's but I be like taking a lot of courage to like come up and like share what I have to say. That is beautiful. Did y'all hear that? That is beautiful. We having breakthroughs everywhere. And you know what? That that's that's great you said that. So what you letting everybody know, if you got some fears, you face your fears. That's what you know Miss Um Jacqueline was talking about as well. You face your fears and you just go for it. And see, I told you it was gonna be just fun, you know, just <laughs> natural, relaxed and you know, and just and just go with it. So that's beautiful. I, I like that. So guys, don't let those fears hold you back. You know, because now this young lady has to get out and start speaking to sell this artwork. <laughs> she created in the lab, and she's going to have to come out and get her cash. <laughs> <laughs> Creating in the lab and come out and get your cash. So if anybody has any questions for our beautiful guests, please type them in. If you're on Facebook or if you're on um, the, the um, app, 
put your questions. Can they put their questions in the comments too, Matt? Yeah, put your questions in the comments. And Jacqueline says to never stop practicing your passion. Keep up the amazing work. <laughs> and she gave you some love, some hearts, and a big old smiley face. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and Hope says she missed you guys too. Thank you, Hope. We miss you too. You guys, thank you for being patient with me. I have to um, get my little voice right here. So are you on um, all of the social media outlets? I am on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and all that. Okay. So give us your Facebook um, information. My Facebook page is Cardi J Graphics, especially on um, Instagram and Twitter, Cardi it's J Graphics. Spell it. It's K-A-R-I-J Graphics, G-R-A-F-I-H-I-C-S. Y'all have that? And that's on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, the same thing. And she said, how can they want to know how can they purchase? See, these are, these are buying. Now, pay attention to the question. These are selling questions. How can we purchase art from this young lady? Okay, so I haven't put my paintings up in my store yet, but my uh, store is carijgraphics.bigcartel.com. So you can like buy my art there, and I just send it off to you, and you can frame it and do whatever you want to it. So let me give y'all that um, store website again. It's um, carijgraphics.bigcartel.com. Okay, that's where you can get her, her artwork. Thank you, Kiki. Thank you. She said thumbs up. <laughs> and um, Hope wants to know, do you go around <clears throat> and speak at different schools to encourage other young entrepreneurs? No, I haven't uh, did that yet. I haven't um, go to other schools and talk to young entrepreneurs. Is that something you think you would be interested in doing? I will be interested in doing that. Well, that's great. You know what? I'm I'm sitting up here looking at your um your head piece with the with the little ears thing, and I started to wear my crown today. I should have wore my crown, so we could have been looking more alike. <laughs> but so Sarah, Sarah, I wear I wear next next time. So, what are some of the other things um that you like to do? What are some of the other things you like to do? Um, you know, I like listening to music and all this stuff that I like to do. I don't know, girl. <laughs> <laughs> I asked uh, you first. <laughs> well, I pretty much um just listen to music. Like okay. I listen to all types of music, even okay. like ones that have like different like languages to it. Okay. Even though I don't know what they be saying. Right. But you it's the sound. <laughs> yes, it's the sound that just be intriguing me. Okay. And then um you know, I mainly like just like to do digital art. Okay. Because that's like the most easiest things for me to do. Mm -hmm. And just editing pictures. You like to edit pictures? Yes. Okay. Awesome. And <clears throat> there was a question that came to mind and it escaped my mind but hopefully it'll come back. I know it'll come back. <clears throat> where um, where do you see yourself in, like, say, after you graduate and after you come out of school? What's, what's, what are those goals looking at for you? I see myself as becoming a graphic artist, like how I normally want myself to be, and just working hard and achieving my goals okay. in life. Just so, yeah. going on there. Did you see Black Panther? I did. What 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 was your favorite part about the movie? My favorite part about the movie, well, everything. everything. Like I loved like the technology they had in there mm -hmm. and the uh, different cultures and like the fate, tribal face paint that they had. Yeah, it was beautiful. <laughs> you know what? My favorite part was, um, well, one of my favorite. I'm like you. It was all good. But and I've seen it twice. I can go back and see it three times. I'm a big Marvel fan. I was watching Spider-Man earlier today. But anyway, um, one of my favorite parts was the ancestral part where they where he went, you know, got down and went back to visit, you know, the, the ancestors, because I had been talking about that maybe like about six months ago, a, a lot about the ancestors, uh, you know, keeping up and 
and talking to our ancestors and going and communing, communing with our ancestors. So I, that was one of the favorite parts for me. And just their fights, they were just, you know, would not give up. You know, when it came down to it, I thought that was just a great, great, um, it was a great story. Yeah. So, um, what's next? I mean, you, 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 you here, you got one more year of school going on. Ah, I'm almost falling. You have one more year of school and then you're going to go to the Savannah. Um, what is it called again? SCAD. 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 You're going to go there and you're going to come out and you're going to basically take over the world with the digital, um, art and all of the other art that you'll be doing. And, I can see some great things happening for you. You're just such a beautiful person. Guys, please like and share. Check out her website. Check out her page and share and encourage other people to do the same. You know, here on the I Am Enough talk show, it's all about community. And I always say if you come through the show, then you're, you, you know, we're, we're, we're in a relationship. We're in a relationship now. So I could call you and say, hey, you know, got this going on. Why don't you bring all your stuff and, you know, come and share because <clears> – <throat> We can't support each other if we don't know what's going on. So you got to constantly be out here telling people what you got going on, taking your artwork, you know, just like setting it up, being excited about it, you know, letting people get into it because it's definitely beautiful. On your Instagram page, do you post a lot of your art like on, on a regular basis? Well, not on a regular basis, but I do post a lot of my art on my Instagram. Okay. Okay. Does any of our, our studio audience, do you, you all have any questions? I have one. You have, does she need a mic, Nick? Okay, hold on. She's going to get you a mic. We have a question. And anybody online, please um, type in your question so we can get your question answered. What was the, what was the first thing that you ever painted? What was the subject matter? And what uh, prompted you to paint that? That's a good question. The first painting that I ever uh, painted is actually here with me. It's on the uh, couch, and it's the uh, woman holding her daughter's hand, and and it's like an island. Oh, background. I love that picture too. That was the first painting that I ever uh, made. Okay. And what prompted you to paint that? What prompted me to paint <laughs> that is the. Uh, like I said, I'm like part Caribbean, so so I like like island and culture and stuff. So I wanted to like do something with that background and have a woman holding her child's hand, showing that oh I got you to the end and that I love you and all that. Oh, it's a love, it's a love picture. You all see that? That's the one in the middle there that we're trying to show you. So, um, so that's beautiful. Any, any other questions from our studio guests? Um, I just would like to know, are the prints available tonight or do you have to order? They online? are available tonight if you want to buy one. Okay. Okay, we got uh, we got prints being sold in the studio, guys. So um, she has a cash app. So although you can go on here, say if somebody see any of the prints, and I'm gonna show everybody the prints. If anybody see any of the prints that they want, can they can they cash app you tonight for the print? They can. Or they can just go to the website. What would you prefer? Uh, they can do both. Either way, she don't care. She says she brings her the cash. <laughs> That's what she said. Bring her the cash. I want to show. I want to show that our guests our prints because you can't really see them down there. So if somebody can hand me a print to put up here, this is one. I don't know if you can see that pretty good. I think they can though. Tilt it. Tilt it. Yeah. There we go. So that's a beautiful, beautiful. Now tell us about her. Well, who's? I know she doesn't have a name. <laughs> now that was inspired. Well, the scarf, my mom, she loved hair wraps. Okay. So I got inspired by this scarf. And then she's like also like an islander, like a culture girl. So I wanted to like add that and like make her like flowy, make movement to the art. And then like, and I also love nature and like flowers. So I just added all that 
colorfulness to the um background to like compliment her wow that's beautiful okay that so that's available on a print and um thank you renee and <clears throat> i think she's absolutely gorgeous so here's another one Matt, can That's good. Okay, so tell us about her. Uh, that one, that was uh, that one is thick and fabulous. So you thick know, and fabulous for the thick girls out there. You know, <laughs> know they're fabulous no matter what. <laughs> for the thick girls out there that know they're fabulous no matter what. As you can see, she has a crown, so you know she's royalty. As you can see, she has a crown. You see her crown, so you know she's royalty. And then the background is just like clouds, so she's just like. She's just got um, it going on. Yes. Thick and fabulous. You see, she's just, she's floating through the clouds. <laughs> floating through the clouds. What's next? Oh, okay, I got it. So her, she's a natural beauty. And she is gorgeous. Now, that one, everybody says that she looks like me. Because of the glasses and how I usually wear my hair. Okay. So, and I can say that is pretty much me. But, uh, <laughs> but you know, she's like that sweet type instant girl who's like shy but nice at the same time. And you can just see that through the picture. Yes. She is gorgeous. I love it. I love it. I love the colors and the hair. And she has her, she has her makeup on. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So we got another one. Okay, great. So this one is just popping with the purple color and look at there <laughs> so tell us about her now that one i call that like midnight madness because i like, you see the moon oh. the red moon and like the flower just flowing behind her while she just doing that pose mm. we're good i just wanted these yeah i just wanted these but give it here i just keep it okay yeah i like i like the um I like this. This is all the prints, right? Yes. These are the only four prints? Okay, great. So with the prints, the prints again, what's the price for the prints? $10. Okay, $10 for the prints, guys. And um, you can have it framed yourself, and you can see how beautiful that is. Yes, yes. And we have, <clears throat> Renee brought this one over, too. This is cute enough. And look at the girls rocking. Black girls rock. And they're holding hands. And they're different shades, different hair textures, you know, because this is what it's all about. We rocking. Black girls rock. So I love this. This is so cute. You can see Addie with this one, right? <laughs> what you going to get it for, Auntie? Oh. Okay. So anyway, we're selling <laughs> pictures around here. We got some, um, what you say, yes, love that one. Which one? Which one, Jacqueline? Which one were you talking about you love? Was it this one? Was it this one or was it one of the prints? Anyway, they're all for sale. Just call her. <laughs> and if she don't have it now, she'll make you one. Tamara said, love, thick, and fabulous. <laughs> Regina's here. Regina <laughs> says, hey, yes. Yes. So she's smiling. I'm so glad that you came on. And anytime you want to come back. You got my number, girl. <laughs> All you got to do is call me and say, hey, Miss Wanda, I got some art. I want to come through the studio and show some of my artwork. We would love to have you. You got an open invitation, okay? Okay, thank you. Yes. Listen, guys, we're going to take a short break, and then I'll be right back. And, again, you can check out um, this beautiful young lady on social media. Uh, she's on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. We, we're going to put that information out for guys to get in touch with her. She also has her store and her website. Please go and support. You know, if we do not support our children doing the right thing, then that means we'll have to defend them doing the wrong thing. So we want to offer you as much love and light and support as possible and put some cash in your pocket. <laughs> That's what we're going to do today. Okay? Okay. So don't go anywhere. And, guys, I'll be right back. The world 
your attention. It may take some time, so don't try to find it in this rhyme. My place is not for a petite bath. I'm here to soak, soak, soak down deep in your mind. And like a sponge, my desires to soak up all your thoughts. Play with Cupid's arrow until you get caught behind the sharp spear that whispers in your ear. From old school to new school, ballads and iTunes, keep up with the snapping new jack. Yeah, you deserve a big pat on the back. Or should I sit in your lap, dancing? I'll be your private dancer, no money needed, I'll do it for fun. Sex in the city, or in the ride, pull up in the driveway, happy days. Baby, they're here to stay. Tickets to the show, mystery, sci-fi, or drama. Bring on the comedy. Did I just wet my pants, or was that a dream? Expand on them in detention. Fifteen rounds in the ring. Heavyweight champion. My heart is capable of more. And when you think of me, I want you to believe that our paths were destined to cross. You will fall to the floor, knocked out. Because the joy in my heart was once lost. The writings on the wall was all that surgery necessary to get into my space, Facebook, or on my channel. I'm trying to create something new, different, and great. But just like playing chess, be careful of the next move you make. Return to planets of the eights, perhaps a kiss, maybe a hug. But one thing's for sure, I'll be there to show you love. Yeah, I'll be there to show you love. The biggest station in the world playing all of today's hits. You're listening to Instinct Radio. <laughs> right. Oh, my goodness. I am still looking amazing. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I've had a ball. And that time just goes so super fast. I just want to thank both of my guests for coming on today guys remember to um stay stay in touch with them reach out you know and let them know that you enjoy them um send them a friend request on facebook five they both have pages that you can um connect with them further we have some art here still in the studio we're going home with some art so if you all want to go have some art sent to you just reach out and let her know, okay? And as always, you know, the I Am Enough talk show is about your dreams matter. And if we don't have a platform that will display the gifts and these passions inside of us, then we're going to be just out here lost. So with I Am Enough talk show, we want to make sure that we secure a safe environment for you, that we secure a comfortable environment for you to come on and just be able to express yourself. You know, it's real laid back here. Um, I'm going to see if they, you, you ladies got something else y'all want to say? Because I can hear y'all. I said, did you have something else you want to talk about? Because I can hear you. I, I can hear you. I think they want to need to come back on, this, on the scene here. <laughs> so I'm just trying to wrap up here. And, and, and my team just out of order. Team just really out of order, but that's okay. They, so they said cash app. That's cash what they, app. That's what they cash said. App. Cash yeah, app. cash app. That's what we got to keep saying. Cash app. Cash app. You know, we're selling stuff today, so we just want to make sure that the money gets deposited and that the gifts keep on walking out the door. 
Um, we have to support one another. This is another thing that we stress on this show, economics. We cannot function without releasing the cash. We Cash circulates. It's motion. It's money. It's love. It's, it's our commitment to help one another grow. So every time you, when you spend your dollars, set an intention. Set an intention to help somebody's um, life grow. You know, money is not just money. It's the power of it and how it how it filters through us to help us elevate in our life. So we have to be mindful of this and we have to set intention. That's why our dollar, you know, I just got to say this. It's a proven fact that we have money. Black people, we waste so much money. We have so much money that's not working for us. And I just want to encourage everybody to get more in alignment with money working for us. So as we invest in this artist that we have in the studio today, as we invest in her, um, Kari, as we invest in Kari, we want her to know that we support her and we love her and we want her to grow and go far, go really, really far in life. She's only 17 now. So in 10 years from now, we're going to be looking up and saying, wow, you know, I contributed to that. So that's another thing with this show is we want to take an every opportunity that we have to help people's dreams come together. So if you can agree with that, just raise your hand in the chat box if you're still online with us and say, me too, me too, me too, me too, because that's how we operate. We come together and we make things happen. Here, you can join us every first and third Sunday right here inside of Instinct Radio Studio. If you want to advertise your business, please send us an email to IamEnoughTalkShow at gmail.com. If you're interested in being a guest on the show, send us an email indicating that as well. And if you also need us to come out and support you in your business, um, a launch, we are more than welcome to do that for you as well. I am Wanda D, the Motivational Queen. You have been listening to the I Am Enough Talk Show, and we are so glad that you took the time to. I love you, love you, love you, and there is absolutely nothing that you can do about it. So until we meet again, you be blessed and you be powerful and you be absolutely magnificent. The biggest station in the world playing all of today's hits. You're listening to Instinct Radio.